got a question. Um, this, there was a lot of foreplay on that side. There was a lot of like, conversation. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get right out of it. That was what made them great. Yeah. Uh, yes, I know. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 That's why you're on. You're doing your job. Um, you're doing you're good. Yes, let good. me ask you this. Um, what's the biggest difference after you've got a season at the Peacock under your belt other than the fact that the TCA party is not the same? <laughs> Once we move from the, from the wolf, the peacock. What do people? What's the like uh, sort of trade term for fox? You know what I mean. Like the peacock is what you would call NBC. Just fox. Just fox. Yeah, I'm sorry, they're boring. <laughs> the howler. They should go with the howler. Because its name is what a peacock. You know, it's a peacock. It's an animal. It's a fox. Yeah. Right. Um, so we. Um, I think Luke had a very has a very good answer for that, which is that. Effectively, yeah, I think we, we've never. We always felt that we were sort of an NBC show. I mean, I think we we love being on Fox. They nurtured the show for five years. I think they were great to us, but it always felt had the sensibility of a show, a Thursday night show. That was where Mike and I came from. That's where uh, Luke came from, who's always been you know one of our top creative inputs. So I think yeah, and Andy. I mean, we just like yeah. so many of the so much of the driving comedy, you know, like. The comedy came from the, this background of NBC, and we always sort of, I think, felt a little odd, odd box. And when we came to NBC, it was just like we didn't change anything, honestly. I mean, we got to we got to brief swears, which we weren't allowed to do on Fox, and, and, that's, and, that's, we, it. and that's it. And everything else, we just kept making the show, and it and it it, it felt also the so studio was the same, and the studio has always been a great partner. Just to clarify, you could you can say the swear, bleep it on NBC, and on Fox, you wouldn't even. Have you are not allowed to swear. bleep. Or, obviously, or swear, or swear <laughs> and you are not allowed to pixelate on Fox, yeah. which is surprising. And we would get into fights about it because obviously some of their animated shows, yeah. they are a li- they give a little bit more leeway, but not as much as you think. It, I think we think of Fox as having that sort of a brand, but they would constantly say that we were wrong when we yeah. tried to fight. And I think they also their sales department was more like. Well, that was, about what you were mentioning brands and just like I, that was also just a combination of yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I wanted to ask about uh, Holt I feel like in this past season his comedic timing like with Andre has been pushed to the limit like how was it for you guys like in the honeymoon or the bimbo with his he's just amazing and so hilarious how was it for you guys writing that for him? Oh, I mean it's such a joy to write for him so um I think the only challenge for us is not pushing him past the limit, uh, yeah. such that we, such that we, such that the viewers don't believe that that's a thing that the character would do. Yeah. One of a lot of the fun of Andre, we spent so long, and he's such a disciplined performer, yeah. and there's so many seasons where he was exactly like one way, and that was really fun to write comedy yeah. for that the, the robot, you know, and then having done that that legwork to start getting to undercut and let him get bigger and broader and sillier and expand all his emotions is great. But I think our challenge, as Dan said, is to make sure that we also continue to, like, for every one episode where he goes totally out of character, we make sure that we do episodes, like one or two or three episodes, that, like, reinforce the character. Because so much of the fun of seeing him break character is that it's unexpected. And if he breaks character every week, it stops being unexpected. But it's also, you know, we sort of subscribe to the great Daniel's office method of every character changes, grows a little bit every episode. And so it's also been six seasons, so Holt has grown. Jake has had an influence on him. We can, he's willing to, he's a person who can now show some of these other sides of his personality. Yeah, they're family. I, I wanted to ask also, are we going to be seeing more Kevin? Miss Kevin. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm so... I am certainly Tell him the bad Kevin. place to send him like yeah. we need him here. We, need him. we love Kevin. Again, we he's, love Kevin. he's um, yeah, we'll definitely see him. I mean, I thought we used him. We did like three with him or two last year plus one where he's on the phone. Right. In case, case. I mean, he's great. Mark is terrific and we, whenever yeah, and we can. He's a true part of the family. I mean, he's one of the, he's, he's, the he's, most a, he's a core, he's been on, he's the guest star who's been on the show the most. I have one question, and the answer I want is no. Like, are you thinking of wrapping it no. up? No. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Good. No, uh, the, uh, I didn't hear the question that you asked. Are it. you thinking about wrapping it up? Or, like, are you thinking this is going to end soon? We're going to start bringing I mean, we're things just at full the circle? Of, of planning season seven. And what I would say to that is just, you know, we will do this show for as long as we feel like 
Uh, there are stories still to tell, and everyone involved loves doing it. Uh, and we can do it well. I mean, we I think that's, well. we've, unlike a lot of shows. Whoa. <laughs> no, but I mean, <laughs> Dan has, I mean, no, but I mean, I think like one of the things that makes it so special, Dan started on the show and, and is still on it every day. And like, I've been there from the beginning. And I think a lot of shows, like, one thing that happens is the, the original sort of creative team passes it off and new people take over and there's a change in quality or a change in tone. And I think we're very proud of the fact that we feel like the show has maintained a consistent level of tone and, a, and a, I hope would hope a consistent level of quality over the season. But I think it's important to us that we, you know, continue to do it as well as we can. Well, that's the trick where the audience doesn't know Yeah, that's right. I mean, I also think that, you know, we were canceled once before, so also it should be said that it's not our decision how long right. we get to do yeah. it. It's, we're totally the people who write the text get to make the call. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.